Okay, this looks weird. I haven't brushed my hair and it looks weird with the lines. What's going on? This looks weird. Hola, my name is Alea and today we're going to have a look at the Aqualong Explorer 2 Regulator Bag. I purchased this bag from Amazon, um, I think over a week ago and it arrived in the Philippines safe and sound. So I'm happy about that. It arrived actually faster than I had expected. Um, it says that the expected delivery date is on the 16th of September and I got it on the 8th. So um, let me just go ahead and open it instead of fumbling around. I got this for $35, which is, I don't know how much that costs in Philippine pesos. I'm not really good with math, but yeah, 35 well, you know, it wouldn't reach 2500 Well, it depends on the prevailing exchange rate, which I think right now is almost up to 60 pesos, but I do, really don't know. So yeah, I'll leave the currency exchange to you guys. Okay, right, this is the package. Oh, sorry for the... Um, the blinds in the office it's early morning anyway smile um so yes uh what was i saying okay so yeah i'm i mentioned that i saw this product on amazon and decided to purchase it for my regulator which is also made by aqualong so i figured okay it's good because they're of the same brand and you know, i don't know i just feel like it would be nice to have an aqualong bag and you know that fits the aqualong regulator but it doesn't really matter, you know, you can use whatever you want for your regulator bag. It's just maybe an OC thing of me to have the same brand. I don't know, just great, great. Anyway, it says here value is 53.82 US dollars. I guess maybe they included the shipping, but I don't remember paying that much. Actually, I don't remember anything at all because like I said, this was over a week ago. But okay, so we're gonna remove the bag, the plastic thingy. And voila, there it is. The Aqualung Explorer 2 Regulator Bag. Um, it's a lot bigger than I expected, honestly. And for $35, I don't know, I'm gonna give my first impressions in this video. So let's remove this first. For $35, I think it's, I don't know, just the feel of it, it's a pretty good deal. Plus, you know, Aqualung is actually made in France, which is cool. Um, Scuba Pro, most of the items are made in South Africa, um, Gulf, of course, is made in Japan, but Aqualong XD is made in Europe. This is made in France. Let's smell it. I know it's such a weird thing to do, but it smells good. There is leather behind it, and it smells really nice. It, the fabric feels premium i just need to say that it does feel premium if you look at the image on amazon i think they provided just two or three photos you'll feel like you're going on a limb just because it, it doesn't provide a lot of images and it looks flimsy but and of course the price is just 35 dollars so i was thinking okay maybe it's not going to be an awesome regulator but touching it with my bare hands and feeling it it's actually pretty cool look at that uh, I'm not sure if you can see, but it is leather in the middle. In the front, you have the Aqualong logo. Um, and then, what else? Oh, it also comes with an Aqualong sticker. Cool, Leo. Okay, what else? Um, okay, so this is from the Explorer 2 collection, um, which also has, I think, duffel bags roller bags folder bags so for people um for divers to actually travel that's the i think ideal um line <laughs> to get anyway open this up Ooh, it's spacious okay all right shock of my life um well not really but uh i made a mistake i said this is made in france because my regulator the aqualong regulator it says there in the boxes 
made in France. But this one, when I opened it, et voila! <laughs> it's made in Cambodia. Hello, Kingdom of Wonder. But yes, it's made in Cambodia. I wonder where. Is it in bottom bar? I don't know. I'm just choosing like random um, Cambodian cities or towns. Currently, my awesome micron regulator is being housed in this Scuba Pro booties bag, which is a shame because this is such a beautiful regulator. It's awesome underwater. I've used it several times already and I'm madly in love with this one. It's just amazing. Um, it's very lightweight also. Like I said, this one is made in... Ooh, I have a stain. Okay, this one is made in France. Um, and so is the Octo. <laughs> so is the Octo. And the first stage. I guess maybe... You know, I don't know. But maybe it depends on which item they are making or they're producing. I think it depends on that. And that's how they decide whether they want this specific item to be produced in let's say Europe or in Asia and I guess because this is just a just a bag I'm not saying it's just a bag to hurt its feelings but really you know a bag versus yes. regulator anyway enough about my regulator I'm just gonna put it here I brought it here for reference just to see if it fits the Aqualong Explorer 2 regulator bag um look at that it's so beautiful isn't it um so yeah you know when you open it um there's nothing fancy not even a mesh part here where you can insert things but i guess that's because this is actually lightly padded to protect your regulator the bottom part is also lightly padded not like as thick as a 3m and neoprene a lot thinner but you know there's still padding which is good um added protection for your gear always a plus um and then it's bigger than i expected honestly i guess i don't know maybe i just have like a bad imagination of how big a regulator bag should be but yeah it has this handle here and okay i'm gonna read some of the um benefits of this Bag. So it says the Aqualong Explorer 2 regulator bag is the perfect bag for protecting your regulator and organizing your dive kit. The combination of foam and PE board walls protect your delicate gear while the round shape minimizes hose kinks. The compact design packs flat and pairs with all the bags in the Explorer 2 collection. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't think my regulator will have kinks because it is an Aqualong and it has the woven type thingy for the hose. So it's actually really good because underwater, um, like I think my brother and they they have the scuba pro um, regulator and they need to buy the swivel thingy because their the hose somewhat prevents them from moving their head. I don't know. I don't have that problem because mine is awesome. Anyway, well the scuba pro brand is awesome too. It's just that this is my preference. Anyway features it is travel friendly it packs flat when empty yes like you saw earlier and it has webbing handle for carrying so this is the webbing handle it is durable it is corrosion resistant or it has corrosion resistant zippers with extended zipper pulls okay oh okay okay oh Ooh. that's strange what is that feels weird um I just want to feel it on my face but it, it, it feels weird anyway i think that is just for better grip of the zipper we don't want to go into it too much it's not rocket science it's just um a textured zipper but yeah like i said earlier this is corrosion resistant which is good because it means it won't rust and you know of course when you're diving it's salt water so that's a pretty good thing but always remember to make ban lao <laughs> To rinse your gear with fresh water after each dive. After each dive. Going back. Um, so yes, it has two-year limited warranty, protective padding, and eternal stiffening material protects your gear. It's exactly the same thing they said in the blurb above. 
Anyway, specifications, this is 13 by 12 by 4 inches or 33 by 30 by 10 centimeters and the weight is 0 0.85 pounds or 0 0.4 kg. Very light, but very sturdy. I like it. But yeah, so we're going to have a look at how my regulator fits inside this regulator bag. Okay, so that is how it looks like packed inside the regulator bag. I had to do it off camera because, yeah, I can't do it with one hand, you know. <laughs> but yes, I can feel the foam mentioned earlier. Like I said, it's not exactly super thick, but it does provide some extra padding for your gear. We have zippers on both sides. Okay, I already zipped them up and can carry it this way very compact very cool and oh, i'm going to show you the thingy that i was very giddy over earlier this is the i hope it doesn't get a lot of scratches soon but i think that's quite a possibility but this is just really fancy i like the extra detail on this logo very cool stuff and there you go okay what's going on uh i haven't really brushed my hair let alone curl it but it does look nice and curly but actually it isn't let's check out the light um the blinds in the office anyway there you go we went through the aqualong explorer 2 regulator bag together i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it helped you in some way um yes yeah, you around bye